Hello world, we are going to install a transmission cooler on a van again today with Go Westies kit. This thing right here. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before, so uh, we're going to learn today together. Because I noticed when I was on the internet, there are no videos of people putting these things on. So people need to have a video. So we're going to make a video today on how to do this. Like I said, I've never done this before. This is my first time. Uh, first step is put these brackets on. Make sure you have them facing out so you can screw holes in later. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, uh, next step is we gotta install these bung holes into this hole right here. Uh, we're gonna put some this recommended thread locker on there, uh, like it says in the instructions. A little bit goes a long ways. Uh, we're just gonna thread her then. Should be a 19 millimeter. Good. Now we're going to do the next one. Okay. You don't want to over torque it, you just want to kind of nice and firm. You don't want to mess up the threads. So it's nice and firm. Next step, uh, do the blue hoses. Um, right into this aluminum block thing, whatever this thing is. And we need to come back with a wrench. I didn't grab the right size wrench. I think that's like a 17. Uh, we can grab it. 11 sixteenths. Uh, it's a standard size, not metric, so that's fun. Let's get firm. All right, and then we're gonna do some more thread locker on this side. On this side, we get the bungs that are, what are these? These are, they, I guess that's the size, N three eighths. Next step, uh, we got to remove the transmission mount guy and then probably this ground right here because we got to drop the nose of the transmission down to take off this whole bracket right here. So I got a uh, jack underneath it holding it up and I'm going to back these up. Alright, 
I might have to grab one of those. Uh, so now we are going to drop the nose of the transmission down just a tad. All right, put that down. Let me get to the other side. All right, so the instructions say to drop down the transmission about six inches. And... Uh, I guess that's probably good enough, right? Yeah. Right. Five. Okay, so then um, we've got to put in line a uh, the little plastic elbow onto the coolant uh, line that's going to the stock transmission cooler. And before we remove those clamps, I've got these that I got from Harbor Freight that work really well on uh, clamping off the hose so you don't lose a bunch of coolant. Um, so you just put the hose in there and then you clamp down on this and then move this up and it stops coolant from coming out, which is really uh, nifty and useful. So that's what we're going to use to clamp off the hoses. All right. We gotta remove this bracket. Let's remove it. Where's that guy? I think that fell out from in between. It's a little spacer. So we gotta remember that it's got spacers there. All right. Let's see if we can get. We might have to. I got. I think I gotta get an extension. I can't reach that. Hold on. Okay. So. We got the uh, the transmission mount off. Right here? Right. Yep, right there, yep. And now we are about to use these hose clamps to clamp uh, this radiator, or uh, this coolant, these coolant hoses up here. I just gotta get them up there far enough. There we go. And now you just squeeze like that, and pull this guy like that, and it holds it. We'll get this other big one. Might have to go farther back with this one. We're gonna leave a little bit of coolant, but that's fine. Uh, Alright. Try to get dirt in your eye. It's basically just putting a kink in the hose. So no coolant comes out. Which how hot is this thing? It's not hot. So we're good. We need to grab an oil pan and then a flathead to back these clamps out. So the clamps we are removing are this, and then there's one on the other side that is right over here. I don't know if I can see it. Yeah. It's right there. It's there's two hoses here. If you're looking at the nose of the transmission. There's one here and then one right next to it. We have to remove those and put the where's the thing at? That, yeah. and put this elbow in line with it so that hose and that hose join together with this so that's what our goal is right now we're trying to like not make a mess you can do it Put your back and do it. Yeah, at least it feels like really nice right now. <laughs> yeah, that breeze. <laughs> like if we were doing this like in 100 degree weather, we'd be like really uncomfortable. I'm yeah, pretty comfortable right now. Considering yeah. the fact we're lying under a car. Yeah, it's, it's, that breeze feels really good right now. Really, really good. Oh, I gotta watch this stuff. Just have to hold your mouth the right way when you're doing this. Okay, let's see if we can enough we can move this clamp up <sighs> okay and then i'm gonna break the seal on it which is gonna probably cause a little bit of Yeah, it's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. All right, it looks like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get the other one from the other side. We're All gonna right. have to switch sides. All right. All right. Ah, oh, that's so much easier. Whoa! Oh. Oh.
let's talk about what just happened. Okay, so when you're doing this, make sure you have the e-brake on because we almost got ran over by this thing. <clears throat> I guess uh, when I was trying to do that, I accidentally popped it out of park and it started rolling back on us. That was scary. Uh, and it kind of bent our bracket here. So make sure you have the parking brake on. <laughs> <laughs> This is the thing that almost killed us. I guess I bumped this too hard and it popped it out of park. Um, yeah. Don't do well, that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> this thing right here, like some part of this mechanism is what we hit and it... Oh my God, that was scary. <laughs> All right, back to uh, <laughs> the yeah. shorty. <sighs> yeah, you might not want to do this on an incline like what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, choke your tires. Yeah, chalk your tires. And uh, uh, e brake on. Yeah. Might have to pull this other hose off. If I can't get that shit. There we go. Probably gonna leak a little bit of coolant. Yep, not too bad. It's not that bad. So, both hoses off now. Both hoses are off. And we are about to install this guy. Shove that in there. All right. <sighs> Get this clamp back on. Just install it like that. And I'm gonna zip tie this hose up just so uh, it doesn't dangle, because I don't like things dangling. And we just tighten it back down. And then after we do this, the coolant will no longer be part of the automatic transmission. And then we will be ready to install the air-cooled oil cooler, transmission cooler, cylinder thing. Yeah, it's like one of those near death experiences. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I filmed like <laughs> I'm, I I think I kind of want to watch it. Yeah. I think I like clicked off at like I don't know if I clicked off when I was under the car or if I clicked off when I was out of the car. I don't know what I did but we're still alive yeah we're still alive and we, we got we got it chalked now and e-brake is on so we got the it. elbow on so we're all tight now I'm gonna relieve this clamp we shouldn't have any leaky leaky let's get this top one back here all right all right let's see any leaky leaky do you see any leaky leaky? Nope. It's no leaky leaky right there, is it? Where my finger is? Uh, I didn't puncture it, did I? I don't think it'd be leaking. I saw a little bit just, but it, that could have just been like just some from one here we go so we're removing the transmission cooler now i'm bleeding it but it's, it's not bad do i have rags underneath that no put, put rags underneath that when you're doing it yeah or like a small bucket Let's get these bungs in here before. It's a crush washer with rubber. Um, goes in here, threads in there. There. Hopefully this will keep it from leaking for a minute. And then you torque these down to 20 foot pounds. That's the old cooler right there. Okay, so. KOSC's instructions say to torque these down to 20 foot pounds. Which is what we're doing. That's 
20 foot pounds. Let's see the cat back in. Let's try to keep it from pissing out oil. Cool, 20 foot pounds. Put this on here until we get the hoses ready. Is we're going to install these hoses. The other one. to go like that which it almost seems like it should go like that never mind it's just the brackets going on top all right yeah recording okay so we're tightening where these things need to sit snugging it up Double check and make sure the mount can fit. It kind of did move a little bit, didn't it? That's okay. Damn it. Right, let's tighten it up. <laughs> like that. That's where those guys will live, just like that. Zip tie those together. Yeah, just to kind of keep them kind of, kind of nice and neat. All right, and then we're gonna run these things Oops. Let's run it this way through that, and then we're gonna run it up this way. So we got the, the mount back on and now we are about to lift the transmission back up into place so we can bolt it back in. But we also want to make sure that those hoses are not going to be in the way or hit anything as we're doing this. Does it look good? It looks good. Is it? Yeah, we're, we're flush. We're flush? Yeah. Right, cool. Right. We're good. Okay, so... The bottom of the hose that's at the bottom of the transmission is going to flow this way through the thermostat to the oil cooler, back out, and then the top one on top is the return. So. <laughs> Next, I think we're gonna grab the oil cooler. Okay, so we've got all these hoses hand tight right now. Um, like I said, this is the bottom of the transmission line going this direction. Goes into the oil cooler, comes out, and then the flow goes back into this line, which is the top of the transmission line. And uh, the next step is we're going to screw this, this bad boy up here with the self-tapping screws. And... Um, and then we got some other clamps that will clamp these hoses up like this. So let's grab those self tapping screws and put the drill on. Okay. Let's look at this one up here. It should hold it up there, I think. Holy. This is done by professionals. We're professionals. Ugh. Professionals that almost got killed today <laughs> by a car that we didn't have on, an e-brake on <laughs> or anything stopping the tires from moving. That's right. But we're still We're good. Everything's fine. 
This is normal. Ah. <laughs> go, where'd they go? Yes, we're watching Jurassic Park in the background. <laughs> On VHS. On VHS. Because we're old school like that. Cool. Screwing the clamps in. Yeah, screwing the clamps. Oh God. Trying to. Trying to. We're trying. We're giving it our best shot. Cool. That's yeah, it's not going that's anywhere. Nice. Yeah. I think we should put in uh, the other two back here. Yeah. And that should uh come in. We're good. Alright, so We got the clamps clamped on here. We use the self-tapping screws to run these clamps in. And now we just need to tighten up all these fasteners. And it says to tighten them to about like 10, 15 foot pounds. So. I don't think those are 19s. Are they 19s? Yeah, they're 19. I think that's like a 17 or that other weird size. Can you hear me that other wrench over there? I think it's like that standard. Yeah, it's that standard size. So this is uh, 11 16ths. Just tighten it up. Everything's tight. I think we're at the point where we can crank this thing up. Let's crank it up. Let's do it. <laughs> 